For this video, we'll look at the worksheet, question three and question number four. And the reason I want to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the reason that we want to go through these two problems is because they will be somewhat special. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a quick look. So here we go. Uh, we have uh, absolute value of 3x minus 2 uh, is greater than 0. Now, I'm going to say that there's something special with this inequality and see if you can spot it out. Okay. And pause the video and see if you can spot it out. If you cannot, then you can just follow along. Okay. Now, if you cannot spot out the special thing over here, I will, I will, I will review what's special at the end. Okay. So you would go ahead and do what we were instructed to do, which is to go ahead and say 3x minus 2 is greater than 0. And then it's greater, so it's or. And then we have 3x minus 2. And then we multiply the opposite side with a negative. So we flip the sign. Uh, negative 0 is still 0. So you don't really see the negative there, but we do multiply the negative to the other side, so we have to flip the sign. So you add two on both sides. <clears throat> so x is equal to x is greater than or equal to two thirds. We do the same thing over here, and then we say x is less than or equal to two thirds. And now you may start to see something quite strange. You're like, oh, they have the same number. How come? And then you start with the number line. You're like, okay, so two thirds right here. So um, so you have the x is greater than two thirds. And then you have x is less than two thirds. And it is or, so it doesn't have to meet both requirements. So either way, it's fine. So what does that mean then? It, it's covering all numbers. And we say, well, if that's the case, well, it, it's uh, it's very simple. That is, uh, x could be any real numbers on the number line, okay? Uh, so our, our interval would be from a negative infinity to infinity. If you have to, if you have to write down set builder notation, we'll say x such that x is equal to all real numbers. Okay, so that would work. That would work. Now let's go ahead and reveal what's so special about this inequality at the beginning. So if you are able to spot out something really special. Uh, and I would say, if you are actually speaking the inequality out loud in your head, like you say, absolute value of 3x minus 2, it's greater than or equal to 0. One thing that you will realize is that, wait, hold on, absolute value of something is bigger than or equal to 0. Isn't that always true? I mean, that's what it is, right? We talk about the nature of absolute value function. So if you capture this feature, which is which is a good sign that you know absolute function really well, okay, then we say, oh, hey, it doesn't matter what x you put in, absolute value of anything, it's gonna be greater than zero. I mean, come on, that's just straightforward, isn't it? Okay, so, um, so, so I'm gonna give you a couple more scenarios just for reference. Like if I change this to uh, absolute value of uh, 3x minus 2 greater than or equal to uh, negative 5, for example, well, this would be all real numbers as well because whatever you put in for x, it's going to be bigger than or equal to negative 5, okay? So uh, now, now uh, just make sure that you are actively interpreting what the inequality is saying, okay? Uh, and then make sure you are using your logic to uh, support your claim, okay? So that's for number three. Now, what about number four? Number four would be something like this. We have to clean up this plus six over here. We will subtract six on both sides. And then uh, those would be negative seven. 
and absolute value of x minus 9 is less than or equal to negative 7. Did you hear something that's kind of strange? Absolute value of x minus 9 is less than or equal to negative 7. Okay, you see how strange it is? Well, 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 well. Uh, if you can tell what is going on, uh, then you should know that it's no solution because there's not going to be any possibility that the absolute value function to be less than or equal to negative seven. It has to be zero or greater. Remember? Okay. Now, if you missed it, okay, and if you keep going, okay, uh, to do this problem, would you still get a meaningful result? The same as no solution? It would be. It would be. So this is uh, less than, so it's and. And then you have x minus 9 greater than or equal to negative of negative 7 would be positive 7. So we have x uh, we'll at 9 on both sides. So x is less than 2. We add 9 on both sides. So x would be greater than or equal to uh, 16. So now this is where things would be challenging if you were not able to interpret it earlier. You may see something like this. Now, if you do this, you realize that there's nothing that sits in between 2 and 16. The instruction here demands that the x value must be in between um, these two solution sets. Okay, If there is nothing, well, then you got no solution. Now, what I'm afraid of is that, you know, some students are not really uh, getting it. So when they look at this, they kind of just, uh, they would go straight ahead and thought, and they would thought, they would think that this is uh, like an or relationship or something like that. And, and they would just go ahead and write down something that's nonsensical, such as they would just write down how the interval notation will be like this uh, and they would not even bother to check of course because if they bother to check they would not come to this stage at all so this is absolutely nonsense okay so uh, so again uh, if you follow the procedures uh, as prescribed as instructed you have to have an end relationship by having end that means the two number lines I mean the the shaded regions must overlap each other in order to be our uh, solution set. If they do not overlap, congratulations, you've got no solution. Okay, so, so no overlapping. Okay, so uh, no solution. Okay, no solution right here. Very straightforward. So make sure you, um, you follow your thought process. Okay, it's very straightforward. Uh, something that could be as obvious as this. Okay, so that's number three and number four.